series against the second place Cleveland Guardians. The game has just started. Quan has a base hit. There is one out, and here is the play. Down the left field line, and a no. diving catch made by Remillard. I thought that ball and bounced. All the way back to first. Double play ends the inning. Did he touch it? Now they're going to want to take a look at this. I thought that ball bounced, to be honest with you, out in left field. I'm not so sure he did make the catch. Catch, no catch, safe out. A lot going on here, and of course, how do we challenge the replay? It used to be so simple, 30-second countdown clock. It changed over the years and got shorter. 2022, we went down to 20-second limit. 2023, it is now a 15-second limit, but you must hold immediately after the conclusion of the play. No thinking about it. The hold signal must come out right away. So those are our clocks throughout the stadium. Let's see what Frank Kona did. The coach at first base immediately looked into the dugout and said, let's take a look and see. The play ends here. We're going to use the 32nd clock starting then. Wow! Before we even get to the 15 second issue, we are looking for a hold that Frank Kona doesn't give. The hold is the hand up, not a nod of the head. Right there, the hold comes at 19 seconds. That's 11 seconds after conclusion of play. Does that qualify as immediately? Titchener doesn't think so. Actually, under the 2022 rule set, does that qualify as 10 seconds? Well, 11 is greater than 10, so probably not. This isn't Francona's first rodeo with a denied challenge issue. We go back to 2022, Ron Culpa. Let me check to see if it hit his foot. Culpa and Tom Payne are going to discuss. It's either you challenge or you don't challenge I mean, here. Yeah, Francona's got a lot of energy about this. He might find himself getting tossed from this one. And then earlier this season, Francona's potential delay in challenging a play led to Aaron Boone getting ejected for arguing Francona waited too long to challenge the call. Because it was not challenged within the 15 seconds. Which means Francona's first ejection of 2023 is the same reason as his final ejection of 2022, failing to challenge a replay review in time. They're Both saying plays. he didn't cha challenge oh, in time. Oh, Oh my goodness. He's going to call out. You had to, they challenged. We saw him go to it. I don't know if, look at, he's saying he didn't, he ran out of time. Really steaming mad. But they don't get the challenge. The umpires blew him off. Tishner telling Francona, I'm looking for a hold. I didn't see one immediately. That's what the rule requires, immediately. At some point, baseball went away from a mission of getting the call right to one of pace of play. In Vegas, the house always wins, but in baseball, the pitch clock is the winner. He did catch that ball. Boy, he sure did. 